everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 56, so let's play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, before I get to forging all this stuff, and we all know it's going to take a very, 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 very long time. Considering we got the Ore Halcon, and I'd like to be able to get the Excalibur on the first try. Even though it might make things a little too easy if we get it. Luckily, there's more Ore Halcon where that came from, but it's quite rare. Ah, you get the Masamune here. That's pretty good. It's a nice little light blade, but who should get it? Uh, I think we'll give it to Ivan. Why not? Then who should get the Kikuchi Manji, then? It does have a nice unleash. Wow. It's actually weaker for everyone else. That's a little something, considering that was a very rare blade to get in Golden Sun 1. And already, it's obsolete. So, let's just go to Sunshine and get all this rusty stuff forged. The Dark Matter can be used for forging as well, but it's mostly for cursed weapons or armor. Therefore, we're going to be making a lot of saving and reloading as far as the Ore Halcon is concerned for that Excalibur. It has a very very low forge rate, which sucks. But considering it's a very powerful weapon compared to the most powerful blades in the game, I can understand that aspect. Let's start with the rusty stuff first. Ooh, a goblin's rod. Ooh, who should get this then? Unleashes Sargasso. I think we'll give it to Mia, why not? They really need to catch up, compared to the rest of the boys. Oh, Pierre's moved up to level 32 on the way here, but, you know, he didn't learn anything new. The extra levels, of course, are nice. So yeah, I'll be doing like this for a little while, and then we can head over to our next destination, which is around Loho. To think, I think we got like one more rock left to do, and that's magma rock. That's coming up real soon as well. Ooh, a pirate saber. Nice. But is it gonna be any useful? I don't know. Oh yeah, I got those dragon skins too. I almost forgot about those. Like I said, let's start with the rusty weapons first, and then the forgeable stuff. It's good that you can actually, like, use your boat over here, because now you can hover over those rocks. It beats going through the southern part of Ocinia. That's for sure. Good thing I have tons of money. Ooh, the Soul Brand! Okay, that name itself is quite awesome. The Pirate Saber. Who should get that? Um, it's looking like Piers will get it. What about the other weapon, the Soul Brand? Ooh, that's actually better for Piers. Pretty good for Isaac, too, but his Unleash is much more awesome. So yeah, I'll give that to Piers and give her the Pirate Saber. Alright, let's see... I believe the dragon skills are next. Or dragon skins. We'll see what really good stuff we can get out of these. As far as the dark matter goes, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but that's for cursed items. If anything, anything that results from the dark matter will go to Garrett, because he's the only one with the cleric's ring. And I don't plan on switching that up. It'll just take a nice bit of work. Remember, I got him with most of the cursed armor anyway. Dragon boots? What are they like, anyway? Raise defense and resist, but drops agility. Well, to be fair, Garrett is a pretty slow character to begin with. He'll still go third compared to Mia. So you know what? You equip him. Why not? What did you have on his tail? Quick boots. All right, 
right, uh, one more dragon skin. It's tedious, I know, but don't worry, we'll get back to the action real soon. The joys of having to backtrack. I mean, unfortunately, I have to go all the way through Gondwin Cliffs and get all the way back here. It takes a lot of work and a lot of synergy if you're using the speed hover. Like, which is the hummer, hover you normally get. You're just tapping B. Or holding B, actually. Dragon Mail. Hmm. How good is that? Oh, resist water and fire. Uh, Felix can equip it. Why not? Sure, you'll lose the benefits of the Erebus armor, but oh well. Could be worse. Uh, the Dark Matter is next. The only material I'm more concerned about is the Aura Halcon. That's the one I'm likely going to be saving and reloading on a lot. Because I'd like to get an Excalibur at least once. Pretty early, too. Anyways, let's see what the Dark Matter brings us. Good thing I have a lot of money. Ooh, a Dark Sword. Unleashes Acheron's Grief. Oh, definitely not giving it to Isaac. Hmm, I'd be giving up the Miramasa, though. Oh, I can't remove it because of the curse on the sword. That's right, I need to go to a sanctuary first. And then I can put it on. That means Garrett will have to, like, re-equip all his other stuff. The curse has been removed! Put on the curse again! Yay! Cleric's ring still on, that's what I want. Okay, so 481, 364. Oh yeah, we definitely got a winner here. Not worried about the curse. The only thing I don't want is to, like, put that on again. I think the Miramasa will have to be sold. It outlived its purpose. Alright, so I'll be right back, and let's see what we can do with this Aura Halcon. I'm gonna make sure to save over here so I have a little bit of backtracking to do. Why don't you give me a few minutes and I'll show you how it goes. Okay, I'm back, and I've had many, many failed attempts to get the Excalibur out of this Aura Halcon. In fact, I've managed to get every single other item at least once, except for Excalibur. Even the 10% drops showed up way more often, which really ticked me off. So anyways, this is my last chance for the Aura Halcon, and if I don't get the Excalibur, too bad. I'll just wait till I get another one. Because I mean, going through all this for like so much time on end, by the time I get to the Excalibur, I'll probably never get this LP finished. Luckily, there's plenty other chances. So this is the last one I'm going to do with this current piece. Then after that, I'm just going to continue the game as normal. Is that alright, guys? It better be. Alright. Moment of truth. And we get the Big Bang Gloves. Nice. Okay, raises firepower. Okay, I'm not really going to give it to Garrett because he's stuck with curse stuff for the time being. So if anybody gets it, it should be Jenna. And what should we swap? Uh, why don't we swap the antidotes? Who knows? Uh, yeah, Isaac's already carrying some antidotes. And these vials I can give to Felix. So I got some inventory rearranging for now. Yeah, Felix is in charge of those as well. And you know what? That's going to be enough. For now, we should probably get some of this stuff sold to make some more room. At least I'm lucky enough to get the Dark Sword, which is pretty damn good from what I've seen. I mean, look at its value! 
18,150 coins. That tells you something. And the quick boots I'll get rid of for now, unless we need to pick them up for someone else. Which likely won't be necessary. And the Kikuchi Manji can get rid of too. And Mia can get rid of the Righteous Mace, because now she's got the Goblin's Ride. You know, I never checked to see if anybody else could use the Ninja Garb. I'm gonna do that first. Can somebody else use this? I mean, you get a nice big increase in agility. Should I give this to Ivan? What does he currently have now? Storm gear, yeah, you're better off with the storm gear. Give you more resistance. You don't really need to resist wind that much. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'll probably just give it to someone on Team Felix. But who could really use it more? I think... It looks like, you know what, we're getting rid of it. It's only fair. I've made my choice. And I'm sticking to it. Alright, wait, did I have other weapons I could sell? Probably on Team Felix's side. Um, these spirit gloves, they can go. And the fireman's pole can go. And let's see. Yeah, the pirate saber can go. Oh yeah, and so can this lightning sword. As far as the Erebus armor, I wonder if anybody else can equip it. On Team Isaac. Mm, nope, they won't benefit us at all. So the Erebus armor can practically go. Should it for peers too? Yeah, it should go. It's had a good run, not gonna lie. Alright, we did a pretty damn good job. So you know what? I'm gonna meet you back at the Angara Continent so we can head for Loho. Alright, we finally made it back to Angara, and this is the town of Loho, but then again, I was already here. I just never really saw much of it. Welcome to Loho! We've been excavating all sorts of ores to get the metals inside. The metal used to make the ancient ruins might have come from those, these very rocks. Huh, that seems good to know, I guess. We have a lot of important excavations going on, but we're also doing some mining. Alright, so clearly Loho is a mining town, and I saw a Jupiter Genie over there. Now it's just a matter of reaching it. Uh, do you have any good artifacts? Ooh, Miramasa is good. Oh, wait, I sold that. Uh, is there anything here that's new that I could really use? Even Crystal Rod? Nope. Man, think of all the stuff that I sold over the past. Alright, Shiba, you're in charge of this. Uh, Felix, you're in charge of the game tickets. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're making a lot of progress here. I mean, they got a lot of artifacts now, thanks to us. I mean, a lot of it, it's just seen the end of its use. I mean, these three things, I probably see myself getting back eventually, especially this, but it won't be for a while. I'm sure you guys understand if if you can't understand, then well, TS. I'm playing it the way I want. Learn to deal. Uh, nothing here. Or in these three things. And I guess we can just leave. If I wanted to sleep at the inn, I would go to the other counter. Some of the miners found an ancient cannon when they were digging a while back. If you want to see it, it's over by the wall near the ruins. Wait, a cannon, eh? That, that could come in handy. If you're only here for the cannon, you can forget about it. Why? What do you mean, forget about it? What are you not telling me? If the cannon is truly as powerful as the people say, we can't just give it away. Uh, yes you can. To us, because we're awesome. 
That wall seems indestructible. We've been trying to dig through it for a while now. We're pretty sure there are some valuable min metals and minerals on the other side. Well, you seem so sure. Keep digging at it. This is the spot. A good hole here and you'll dig up some fa fantastic ore. Or make it to China. Whatever works. I haven't found anything worth the trouble of digging up. It's time to find another spot. And yet, here you all are. Why does everybody have a red nose? If you want to be a miner, you have to know the earth. You have to know where to dig. But I, I don't want to be a miner. So enough said. You can enjoy the digging life for all I care. It just ain't for me. So yeah, there isn't a lot to see in Loho right now. Except for that cannon. Did you want this cannon? Well, yeah. Well, if you can figure out a way to break down this wall, it's all yours. Hmm. Well, I don't really have any ammo. The only thing that can work is that magma rock. It's called a magma ball. We'll deal with that later. We brought the cannon up here to break down the old wall, but we don't have any ammunition. You can put metal balls in the barrel, but what makes them come out again? It looks a little like an old ballot ballista, but the way it works is totally different. Hmm, must be a special kind of cannon then. What's this? Oh, crystal powder. I couldn't care less. Jeez, nobody's putting away their food. Everyone's so sloppy. Man, they, they eat like pigs here in Loho. All they do is dig and eat like slop. It's not a proper way to live, guys. I should learn some new etiquette. Mm -hmm. I can't go over there. There's something down there that looks like a croissant, but it probably isn't a croissant. In case everybody gets all serious. Oh, dude, that's not a croissant, that's some kind of other item. I know, I was being sarcastic. Some people can't understand sarcasm, and others are as dense as pea soup. It's sad. And heartbreaking at the same time. But mostly sad. Alright, let's uh, head over to our next destination. We're gonna head back to Gondwin, and this time we're gonna go all across this river. There's Magma Rock over there, and the Gondwin Settlement over here. I've never really been to either yet, and Magma Rock is our next destination. Rather than waste our valuable synergy, I'm just gonna use this. Sail. And sail. And sail. And sail. So anyways, Magma Rock will be the fourth and final elemental rock of the game. Not only that, the last Mar lighthouse we need to do is Mars. That's also fire related. It's very funny that both the rocks and the lighthouses end in fire affinity. I don't know if it's just coincidence or it's gotta make a lot of sense. I don't know, but either way, it fits guess, but it doesn't matter. Either way, I'm just really enjoying the game. Okay, if I'm to get to Magma Rock and Gondwin Settlement, I have to go through this little river. Remember, we saw this river around Kibombo and Aribwe, that area. Now we're actually going to the left side. Uh, you know what? We're gonna use, like, the new hover. to go there a little bit faster. Okay, that's Magma Rock, we'll go there later. But first, let's head for Gondwin Settlement. I mean, we haven't been there yet, we might as well just see everyone. Okay, this is an old track. I think I heard this in Bilbin when it was back to normal. It's down here. Ah, treasure! Oh, some stardust. Okay, another thing to forge. 
I see some gravestones, too. Don't tell me! You're here to solve the riddle of the rock! Oh yeah. I don't want to scare you, but... I think you should reconsider. Even the warriors who survive to make it back do so by the skin of their teeth. Ooh, is that a challenge? I like challenges. Challenges are awesome. I hear Kambombo has finally chosen a new witch doctor. Maybe now they'll calm down and not be so aggressive. For the time being, of course. Wait till Akafubu finds out that the magic is gone. Granted, he can still use it. It just won't be the first. There was a giant explosion on the rock the other night. I couldn't get back to sleep at all. Well, that's your fault. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, just a lucky metal. Not to mention, we're importing the lucky metals on Isaac's team. We got a lot of metals. Okay, that's pretty much all we came here for. Just a little chit chat and a couple items. Nothing too special. But anyways, we're gonna stop the video right here, and in the next part, we're finally going through Magma Rock. Goodbye, everyone.